Hello, everyone. Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations with leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm here uh, right now with Carol Brown, one of those global thought leaders uh, with TampNet. She is the Director of Infrastructure Development for TampNet. Welcome, Carol. Thanks for joining. Good to be here. Yeah, absolutely. We're happy to have you. Um, So let's go ahead and start off with, uh, well, there's so many data center operators in the room today. We've had a bunch of them on JSA TV already and and talked with quite a few of them. Um, So if you could just explain how TampNet is supporting um, Norwegian and really global data center operators um, to enable growth. Sure, happy Mm -hmm. to. So TampNet is an infrastructure owner in the Gulf of Mexico and the North Sea. Essentially, it was developed initially for the energy sector. So we've got a long history with supporting energy companies and that general area and their ESG strategy. But within about the last six or seven years, we extended that product set to the carrier community. So Mm -hmm. to data center operators, but data center customers, Mm -hmm. hyperscale customers, retail customers, other telcos. So we have been supporting that for about six years or so. Mm -hmm. But within the last 12 months, we embarked on an investment for a specific data center led Uh, network here in Norway. So Mm -hmm. it's connecting the existing data center locations Mm -hmm. here within the Nordics. Also some locations that we anticipate becoming important over the next couple of years as we see lots of data center activity here in Norgen, in Mm -hmm. Norway, excuse me, but also the Nordic region as a whole. Mm -hmm. So we came up with the concept for Norfest to Mm -hmm. enhance the network that we already have and Mm -hmm. have been using successfully but also to anticipate the transition to more data center activity here in the Nordics, and also the requirements of data center operators and their customers for a different suite of products. Mm. So moving away from the 100 gig services that we've been selling to customers who go, we're operating at such a scale, we need to use our own infrastructure, whether Mm -hmm. it's Spectrum or Spectrum as a migration to dark fiber what we're investing in and building this year Mm -hmm. right now is to allow that customer segment to continue to grow at scale. Excellent. I love that. That's so exciting. Uh, you hear, heard it here all about uh, Norfest and, you know, folks could, should go on the website and, and learn more about that. Um, yes. I think that was the perfect kind of nugget of information to get people excited about it. Um, and also, uh, you're uh, discussing the Norfest Subsea Network on a presentation later today, yes. I believe. So um, could you give us an, an update on the cable project and kind of just, you know, where we're at right now? Sure. Well, my technical colleagues and partners will give this. It will be a far more (laughs) detailed and and engineer-led presentation later. Mm -hmm. But we've half finished the system. So Mm -hmm. during the summer months, we laid the cable from Stavanger to Christiansand, which Mm -hmm. coincidentally is from the Green Mountain facility in Stavanger, or that Stavanger region, to the bulk facility in, Mm -hmm. in Christiansand. So we're taking in locations along that route. The cable ship starts loading the second segment, which will go from Christian Sand to Oslo hmm. on Friday. Oh, day wow. After tomorrow. <laughs> and then that project will continue until December or so. So hmm. by the end of the year, we will have a fully lit high fiber count system across the southern coast of Norway that connects to our existing routes through to the UK and to the Netherlands. And we will be open for business from the start of next year on a totally new and totally diverse uh, backhaul system. And wow. even though the system is in the water, effectively, it's a backhaul option for Norwegian systems and Norwegian data centers to connect their facilities in in a way that is completely separate from everything that exists at the moment. Wow. So we've had a great year. We've had lots of good weather in Norway, mm-hmm. which... Apparently, we shouldn't take for granted. <laughs> and uh, we're on 
on plan for an RFS before the end of the year. Wow, that's incredible. Congrats on all of the success and growth. I mean, Tampnet really has a, a lot going and it couldn't possibly be more relevant uh, for this interview today. I mean, that Friday <laughs> deadline is happening and then end of the year. So I hope all of the data center operators out there are watching this and getting excited about so this. Yeah. <laughs> all right, excellent. Well, thank you so much, Carol. It's been a pleasure getting an update on Norfest and chatting with you. Happy to. Yeah. All right. Awesome. And thank you to all of our viewers back home. Thanks for hanging out with us at JSA TV. Happy networking.